What's going on, guys? It is Steve with Everyday Gaming Society. We're doing the Walking Dead Survival Instinct. This achievement, no stone left unturned for all these squirrel locations. For the first one, this is in the very beginning of the prologue itself. After you pick up the knife, go into the next room and turn right. Far back of the wall on a table is going to be your first squirrel. The second one, after speaking with the officer, walk into... Another part that's going to be on the roof and you'll be seeing some boxes. Jump on the boxes. See this little brick area? Go down there and then you're going to be finding a squirrel on a table. Well, watch out. There is a zombie that is just plain possum down there. I uh, already killed him. You see the blood splatter. But it is going to be over here on the table. Finders keep Number three. Go to the gas station on the right of the road when you see the motel. And you'll be seeing it on the shelf as soon as you encounter your first shelf. Just so you guys know, you cannot get all the squirrels in one playthrough. You need to do two playthroughs and make sure you remember what side of the map and roads you travel on. Because that will help out greatly. Number four. What do we want to do for number four? Start the mission. Head through the alleyway with all the graffiti on the wall. Jump over the fence, it's and there you'll be harder. jumping onto a roof, and you're gonna see some guy chilling there. This time. Uh, his body looks a little, uh, a little rotted. Looks like he's been in the sun for too long, and he's gonna have a gun sitting next to him. And towards the gun is going to be a squirrel. So make sure you guys pick up that squirrel. Where are you, Merle? Number five. Where are the guards? are going to be watching the wall. You can see them turn back and forth. You're going to go through this fence, go underneath it, and you could probably duck through all. all those tents, but I just hugged the fence line, and I'm going to hug the fence line towards the brick wall, and you can see the tent that I'm going to be going into. It's going to be kind of facing you, but watch out. There's going to be a lot of zombies going through here. I just avoided them real quick just to show you guys where it is located. And now that those zombies are dead, we are on number six. While approaching Charlene's house, go around the other side of the house and you'll be finding the squirrel hanging out in the wood shack in front of the vehicle. Actually, it'll be behind the vehicle. There we go, right there. All right, for number seven, this is pretty easy. Hey, After, this actually, this will be before talking to Merle. It depends on uh, when you guys want to do before or after. Backtrack the alleyway. You want to climb up the ladder that's going to be on the left side of the building and go straight once you get up that ladder. There's going to be a little bit of a crack in between the two buildings. <laughs> a crack, right? <laughs> Fall down into the crack. So go down into the crack and to your left towards the ventilation system and you'll be finding the squirrel on the ground. Sorry, that was a horrible joke. I know, but it's late and I'm tired. Number eight. Enter the donut shop off the main road and just go ahead and follow the video and it's really going to be really easy to find this one. Just watch out. There's going to be a lot of zombies following you. Uh, best way to do is just crouch around towards the corner of the building itself. But go through this wall here on the counter and it's going to be towards the one end of the counter. Number nine. Once you push the truck out of the way, enter in this utility building and look on the office cubicle on the right and you'll be finding your next squirrel. There's also a poster and a key location if you guys want to look at our other videos that we have for this game. Number 10, after climbing a staircase, you want to go down the hallway and turn a left once you hit the cubicles. Towards the last cubicle, you're going to want to look in it and there's your next squirrel. Number 11, we are in Shearwood, getting close to the end of the game for the first playthrough. So, what are you going to do for number 11? Enter in the house to the left, hop over the barricade, and enter the room towards the back left of the house, and look on the table for the squirrel. Number 12, last one for this playthrough from the very start of the mission what you want to do is follow the video all the way past these walkers and enter in the tent on the left side also you'll be finding some flares 
And it's also a random spawn, but you could probably find some, uh, whatchamacallit, some health, some sports drinks, some Gatorade or protein shit. I don't know what the hell he drinks, but uh, apparently it's good for him because it helps him out. Alright guys, now we are on the second playthrough. For number 13, near this ranger vehicle, go inside the building and look right on the desk. It's very hard to miss once you look right. There's a guy just, uh, you know, sleeping there. Yeah, you have to go on the other side of the desk to get the squirrel kind of bullshit, right? But anyway, so number 14, enter the morgue, creepy enough and crouch down if it helps turn off your flashlight try not to attract the zombies because uh, if you attract them they'll be on your ass like flies on shit so before going through that door turn right and you will be hanging around the here. stretchers and find your squirrel you'll be good to go number 15 hey, you'll be hanging out with that survivor right there go behind where the ATM is and head towards the back of the room on the right. You'll be also finding a pair of keys there and another poster for the other video guy references in that room. But go all the way through here and over on the left side you'll be finding what you are looking for and that is squirrel number 15. That's a lot of zombies. A lot of zombies. Last but not least, number 16. Enter the train cart towards the side and walk to the very back of the cart for your last collectible. It is a little bit confusing. Hopefully this was enough of a guide to show you guys where this train cart is in Polksville. But yeah, there we go. That is it. 50 gamer score. If you guys have any questions, go to everydaygamingsociety.com. Send me an email, egsproductions at hotmail.com, or simply enough, post a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get a hold of you guys. Good luck finding all these squirrels, and best of luck with the achievements. Talk to you guys soon.